Imagine a world where every living being is intricately connected, from the tiniest microorganism to the towering trees. Each organism relies on another to survive and thrive. This complex web of interactions is the very essence of an ecosystem. But how can we truly understand these relationships? The answer lies in concept mapping. In this video, we'll explore how concept mapping can help us visualize and understand the intricate interdependence within ecosystems. Ecosystems are communities of living organisms, interacting with each other and their physical environment. These interactions form a delicate balance, where every species has a role, each contributing to the survival of the entire ecosystem. This concept is known as interdependence. For instance, predators regulate prey populations, plants provide oxygen and shelter, while microorganisms recycle nutrients. Without this interconnectedness, ecosystems could collapse. Understanding these relationships is key to ecological studies, and that's where concept mapping comes in. A concept map is a visual tool used to represent knowledge. It organizes information in a way that shows relationships between concepts, allowing us to see the bigger picture. In an ecosystem, a concept map can help visualize how different species, environmental factors, and processes interact. Concept mapping is especially useful in understanding ecosystems, as it highlights both the direct and indirect relationships, ones that are often too complex to grasp through text alone. Let's build a concept map for a forest ecosystem. We begin by identifying the key players, producers, consumers, decomposers, and abiotic factors. Producers, like plants and algae, capture sunlight to make their own food. Consumers, like herbivores and carnivores, rely on these producers or other animals for energy. Decomposers, like fungi and bacteria, break down dead organisms and recycle nutrients back into the soil, ensuring that producers can continue to grow. Abiotic factors, such as sunlight, water, and soil, form the foundation upon which all life depends. The map visually represents how energy flows from one group to another, highlighting the interdependence between each component. There are different types of interdependence in ecosystems. Mutualism is when both species benefit from the relationship, like bees pollinating flowers in exchange for nectar. Commensalism occurs when one species benefits, and the other is neither harmed nor helped. An example is barnacles attaching to whales for transport. And parasitism is when one species benefits at the expense of another, like ticks feeding on a host. Now, let's consider what happens when this balance is disrupted. For example, if a keystone species, like wolves, is removed from the ecosystem, it can cause a cascade of changes. Without predators, herbivore populations can explode, leading to overgrazing and the destruction of plant life. This, in turn, affects the entire ecosystem, as food and habitat resources become scarce. Concept mapping helps us visualize these disruptions and understand the ripple effects of environmental changes. Concept maps are powerful tools in both education and conservation. Educators can use them to teach students about the complexity of ecosystems, making the invisible connections between organisms and their environment more apparent. Conservationists can use concept maps to identify key relationships and focus on protecting or restoring critical species or processes to maintain ecosystem balance. In summary, concept mapping allows us to visualize the complexity of ecosystems and understand the critical interdependence that sustains life on Earth. By recognizing and preserving these connections, we can contribute to the health and resilience of our planet's ecosystems.